Hello guys and welcome back to Career Cube, a place to curate your career. So, so here in today's video, we'll be talking about testing roles and uh, you know, uh, there is a lot of confusion that uh, a lot of freshers are put to the testing domain and they do not know, they are really unsure of uh, whether it is a good domain, whether they should continue in this domain or they should look only for development roles and if there is a future of testing at all, uh, what is the career growth, What? how does it look like and a lot more. So I thought of clearing those doubts and I have have tried to clear and I've tried to put a few points here to you know really define what testing actually means and if it is good what are the different forms of testing and you know doing what will actually give you a good future growth I've tried to cover each and every aspect uh, related to testing do watch the video to the end to know for yourself if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe so the first question is what is testing uh, you know what do testers do what is this testing entirely so whenever an application or whenever anything gets developed or any enhancement is taking place whenever the developers are writing a code those codes need to be tested before they are sent to client for actual execution or before they are added into the app or whatever they are made for before they are actually put to work they are actually tested previously right whether they are working properly or not whether you know the input that they are taking whether they are returning the correct output Output, and the time in which they are returning this output uh, whether they are able to take the workload or not the, and a lot of things testing is a very large domain and there are a lot of things we will discuss in our upcoming videos more on what testing looks like and what is it what is there in testing but this is just a video to give you a brief overview of testing and whether or not it is good whether you as a fresher should be uh, you know interested or taking in uh, some testing roles if you're uh, provided an opportunity with or not so uh, the first thing is that testing is important testing maybe you can at times hear that the testers are not as valued as developers but even that's not true if you're working in a service-based company then yes maybe developers are getting uh, more valued uh, uh, when compared to the testers but there are other organizations where actually testers are required now uh, say Microsoft actually paid a girl 22 lakh for just finding one bug so that is how critical a tester can be. Your An application can entirely function or dysfunction if there comes one bug. To so identify that bug, a tester is needed. That is not something that developers can do. And that is why, you know, testing is also a very important role when it comes to the software sector, okay? Now, there are actually two kinds of testing that are there in the market. The first is manual testing and the second is automation testing. So what is manual testing? Manual testing is when an individual manually goes and you know enters the values and sees uh, whether giving this input is giving you the correct output or not. He checks the functionality or uh, is the application working properly or not. Now what is automation testing? Automation testing is the same thing. Uh, that is you know you are testing the functionality or how the application is working and everything but uh, you are uh, not doing it manually. You're not going and entering the values manually. You are just automating the entire process. You are feeding a code a template, a code template that might be there that it will do this first, then do this, then do this. And then uh, this will be the and then the output should come. So it will be a code that you will be running. You have completely automated the process. You have written a code and you have just run a code to test the entire thing. And that is how this thing, this automation testing takes place. There's a lot of confusion and there's this buzz that manual testing is a dead domain. And that, uh, you know, few years down the line, manual testing will be completely outdated and there will be no jobs for manual testing. But here uh, to this, I would like to say that this is a complete myth. There is no truth to it because this because manual testing is something that, you know, it can never get outdated because there are certain sectors, certain fields, which actually is completely dependent on manual testing and it is not using automation testing at all. When I say this, there are domains such as healthcare, there are domains such as banking, which are not willing to continue or to start with this automation thing and they want to, they want to continue or they are continuing with this uh, manual testing. Also, there are times when automation testing fails and you know manual testers have to come and you know check. Uh, of course, automation testing provides a very speedy result and uh, it is you can say less boring because you know say for example you have to check the login and there are 10,000 employees in that organization. So do logging in for 10,000 times manually is a big task and it's 
iterative, it's boring. Whereas if you write a code of doing the same thing and you automate the entire process and this entire process runs on its own as soon as you, uh, you know, run the code, then the process becomes fast. The process becomes interesting because you have to write the code and not actually do the functional bit. So yes, there is a difference. And both of them, manual testing and automation testing, have their own pros and cons. But what, uh, and in today's video, I'm not here to discuss the pros and cons of manual and automation testing. All I'm here to say is testing is a domain that is as important as development because till the day there'll be development, there'll be testing because whatever you develop, you need to test them. And also, uh, manual testing and automation testing are two things, two different things. And both of them have their own importance, own market, uh, their own market value, their own needs, and both will still be there. None of them are going to be outdated. Now, when it comes to salary and uh, salary structure, then yes, manual testers are actually people who have little or no coding knowledge. They don't do any programming. They are solely responsible for, you know, they are given the input and they are told that this is the required output. This is the product. So they know the entire inside out of the product, the UI but they don't know how or in which language the code is, uh, you know, uh, written or, you know, what, uh, where this input is being taken, in which module this input. So they don't know, they don't know what the code is all about, okay? Uh, say they are just feeding in the input and they're getting the output. So job of manual testers are a bit easy when compared to automation testing because there's no coding and nothing like that. So that is why the pay that a manual tester gets is a bit less when compared to a, an automation tester. Uh, the salary, uh, the career growth also, uh, this completely depends on how much you are, you know, keeping yourself up with the technology. If you're sticking to manual testing, then your career growth will get redundant after some time. But you, if you're moving from manual testing, you are moving to maybe automation testing, you're learning some new languages and you're moving to automation testing. Or there are other forms of, even in manual testing, there are many other forms. I will discuss each and everything in my upcoming videos. Uh, if you move to those forms if you try to inculcate and if you try to learn those skills then even as a manual tester you can aim and you can actually earn a lot more than you know you were earning previously or which will be at par with the automation testers the average salary that uh, a manual tester gets when he is a fresher can be uh, you know at start it can be as low as 2.5 to 3 lpa but as you gain experience, it will grow and it can grow till 12 to 15 LPA as well. Whereas if you see for an automation tester, since he has, he or she has the knowledge of, you know, some programming languages that are uh, being used. So they are getting, uh, they will be getting uh, uh, or they'll be taken in at a greater slab, definitely. That is somewhere around 3.5 to 4 or even 4.5 LPA. And they can also range to a greater like 15 or to 18 LPA. But you know, at the, uh, if you see in the long run, there is not much difference between the salary structure that is there for manual testers and for automation testers. I would like to say that, you know, uh, none, neither is manual testing, uh, you know, bad or outdated, nor is automation testing. Both of them have their own advantages, disadvantages, use, not non-use and a lot of things. Uh, the only thing that matters is how much you are skilled in it and how good are you in your job. It, if you are continuing to, you know, upskill yourself, you will definitely land to a good salary structure and it really doesn't depend. Uh, yes, you can actually see the difference between uh, uh, in the salary between that of a developer and a tester, but only during the initial days. After a few years or say after five years, 10 years down the line, if you see a developer and a tester stands at the same rate okay and this is not something that I am saying alone this is something that the figures have said so I'll be covering everything don't worry about that I'll be covering everything in the upcoming videos but if you're someone who's getting a testing job or a testing domain then you know you should uh, not be like why am I getting this I don't want to do this also I would not suggest someone uh, you know if you uh, there are people who say that okay I don't know testing so I, I don't know coding so can I go to uh, can I take this testing thing no uh, it's not, it's nothing like that, that people who don't know coding can become a tester. There's nothing like that because, you know, eventually you might need to learn some coding, some language, and you might need to do uh, coding in that language. So it's not that if you want to escape from coding, you take on testing. Don't be in that impression that if you take up testing, you don't need to code, okay? You might need to code in the future. So that's all that I have for you in today's video. Hope you have got some clarity of what, you know, testing looks like. I will discuss, as I've said a lot of times in my video also, I will come up with other videos on testing 
and I will tell you what they uh, what it is all about. If you have liked today's session, put a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do subscribe. Stay tuned to Career Q. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.